Hello, today I'm going to read you again about the enteropathy ultrasound protocols. So here is the objective of the talk. First one, we have to give the definition of enteropathy. Second, we have to know about the task, what we should do before do ultrasound study, what equipment we should choose, and what technique we, we should do, and what is the diagnosis finding. So, enteropathy refers to any pathology of the intestine. We uh, ultrasound study. We have to review patient ID, history, and clinical impression written by a clinician in the request. And patient, no need to be fasting. Equipment. Equipment focus to how to choose the probe for uh, about ultrasound. So the standard, we have to use the probe which has around 3 to 5 megahertz. But if patient is small and thin or child, we can use small scan head or linear probe to get better quality image. Technique. I mean, before scan, we have to explain to patient and caretaker what we are going to do and how. So position for the scan is first starting with supine so and begin doing a whole swap throughout the abdomen using moving the lawn technique. So here is the image. So how the moving the lawn technique uh, look like. So when request about the enteropathy, do we just scan only bowel? No. We, we have to scan all solid organ, hyaluronic, biliary tree, bowel loop, abdominal aorta, appendix, mesenteric lamnode, ascites, mass of collection. Diagnostic finding. First one, we focus on the bowel appearance, include bowel sickness. Not more is less than 3 mm. Inhomogeneous wall stratification. Intramural vascularity. If we found that the bowel wall sickness is more than 3 mm, inhomogeneous wall stratification and increased intramural vascularity. So it means that bowel is has some disease. So after that, they have to find some secondary signs like reactive mesenteric mode adjacent to the portion of the intestine which has disease. And we have to see the adjacent mesenteric chain or ascites to be or to make more confident about the or, or confident or confirmation for the enteropathy. So here is the ultrasound image the example what or when the 
about look like when we concern about the enterocarty. So the first image, image A, so that the sickle is sickening while uh, is sickening while between sickle and terminal ileum is sickening, terminal ileum is sickening. This case is in case of NSAID induced enteropathy. So uh, B is so that the colon has second wall with intramural, with increased intramural vascularity. The C so ascending colon is sickening with adjacent uh, mesenteric change and reactive small reactive lung node. And D, so the follow-up scan for the same patient, we, we reveal that the, the wall of the ileum is decreased in some of sickness to, to be normal inside. This is made is given about the Crohn's disease. So A, we see the wall of alien is sickened. And D, so that about the stenos of alien because of the extensive wall sickening and inflamed with hyperemia. This image shows the case of celiac disease. A, image A, the sickum has wall sickness up to 4 mm. B, so about the eugenization in the course of celiac disease. We see the second mucosal pole in the ileum. C, image C, shrub like hypertrophy of the mucosal pole, type of celiac disease, and evident for reduce in the fragment of intestine. D, also, celiac disease, so in light mesenteric lung node. This is the case of bacterial overgrowth syndrome. In the mid A, indicate second of mucosal fold. In B, so the Edema of the wall and fall of the ileum in eosinosis with complete lumen occlusion. C, the same syndrome, bacterial overgrowth syndrome, in a patient with history of gastrectomy. Your genome contains mainly fluid with slight amount of gas, a reduction of the number of mucosal folds. And if we, so here we, we I, I don't show about the video. If we see, we, we, we see the video also, the bowel look like increased mobility. It's the case of the Henoxalan Pokhara. Image is so extremely non certified or sickening of the Donino as the first ultrasonographic sign in the in the years of patient with financial and corporate, the hyperechoic area may represent hematoma. The image B to E, 
is about the case of nine years old boy with anoxalan pokora. They are sickening and loss of stratification in the jejunal. Note the abnormality decrease a whole tenacity of this submucosal. So to represent fluid accumulation within the submucosal caused by the vasculitis and peritoneal fluid, the hypoperistasis and hyperemia are best appreciated on the video, but we cannot, we, I, I don't show it here. Increase echogenicity of the right kidney is due to nephritis. A small rim of peritoneal fluid is seen between the liver and the right kidney. Number, numerous and large mesenteric lump nodes are present in E in image B. This is a case of eight years old girl. We take on Hainosh Shalan Pokratu. Image A so diffuse sickening of intestinal wall and B so increased vascularity in the intramoral portion. And gray scale of the sound from another part of the abdomen. So hyperemic mesenteric fat tissue. The last case, it is a case of refractory celiac disease and T cell lymphoma. The ultrasound so intestinal loop with enlarged inside and hyperencolic mesentery. So thank you.